Hi everybody, today I'm going to be going through some of my empties. Again, uh, everything is always cruelty free. I have my empties in a pickle barrel bag here for you, so I'm just going to dive right in. You know, pickle barrel and fancy hat go together. The first one is the e.l.f. color adjusting, is that what it's called? Tone adjusting face primer, but it's basically a lavender color correcting primer, which brightens your face. Uh, no, I wouldn't rebuy this one. First of all, I mean, the price with e.l.f. is always great, so I can't actually complain about the sizes because that's sort of the trade-off is this thing is 14 mls, uh, but it's like $4. Um, I found it actually made my foundation a little patchy. It, I don't know. I just found it didn't do anything. It did do a little bit of brightening because it's lavender, but... It didn't fill in fine lines like it says and it really wasn't a good adhesive for any makeup that I was putting on top of it uh, yeah so it wouldn't repurchase this is like a best-selling eye makeup remover the Marcel eye makeup remover lotion so I thought I would buy it because I wanted to see why it's so popular I mean <clears throat> it is gentle like it's got nothing like no perfume it's hypoallergenic all the things that i love about marcel but i don't i don't get it i don't really get what all the fuss is about it didn't really do a good job of removing my makeup even though it does say it removes long wear makeup i don't know maybe somebody can explain this to me because i have another bottle of it that i got as a gift with purchase and yeah that's that uh this is the elf brush shampoo which is three dollars and it cleans your brushes it, it does an okay job i i might buy it again just because it's really cheap and i find that brush shampoos you go through really fast uh but i did have to keep swishing my brush in water with it and adding more uh so it really went quick i don't know if anybody has a really good brush shampoo let me know one that's gentle one that's cruelty free uh, right now i'm using the quill one which is fine but it's a little perfumey and what else do i have oh this was really good i only i only got one because i think i got it in an ipsy bag but it's it's a it's even one use it's worth talking about it so this is the ico hydro gel patch and it's insane like it really illuminated my under eye area it was really fun to wear it was really soothing and it kind of puffed out fine lines and just made me look 10 years younger and refre refreshed and all that good stuff so yeah ico hydro patch gel definitely i want to try more of those it was a fun treat uh i keep buying this this is the all about matte essence um finishing powder it's white you obviously can't see that from this but it's a white powder and i love that it's pressed because i'm a mess and i have to wear black all the time and i'm loose powder and me are just such a disaster so i like to get a, a white finishing powder that's pressed it's only five bucks and it's fine like it it doesn't settle into my pores it's not cakey uh, it's not the greatest powder you're ever going to buy in your life, but for five bucks, it's it's definitely worth it. And I will probably buy another one because I've already bought two. I also have the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Body Cream. <sighs> I love glycolic acid so much. This also has salicylic acid in it too. So it really, really does a fantastic job of exfoliating your skin making it nice and moist and nice and soft. Uh, I do get so confused. I, I've encountered many people that stop using glycolic acid because they say they, their skin feels dry, but I don't understand that because glycolic acid always makes my skin super soft. And when I went on a horrible two week hiatus without any AHAs or BHAs, I really noticed uh, a difference. Um, part of it too is why it feels moist is because it's exfoliating your skin. So any moisturizer you put on top of it or any moisturizers that are in the product are going to absorb better. So I don't know. I don't know what people are talking about half the time. Like honest to God. Okay. This is the NYX concealer. 
This was the color correcting yellow one. Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. I found the, the I love you, Nick. Sorry. Disclaimer, disclaimer. I found the bottle didn't last. For, sorry, two things. The product didn't last and the actual bottle didn't last. It started to break. And I, I did find it a little too thick for me. I mean, it might be awesome on other people, but it just was a little too thick and cakey. Okay, I'll do one more. Oh, there's my there's my other essence mat. I guess this is this is an empties bag that's been a long time coming. Um Oh, rock. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Last product here. Uh this is the rock retinol, the ProCorrect. This one has um it's a it's a fluid like it's a serum like retinol i don't i don't know like i i, lo I love rock and i want to still love them but mm, and i've been using retinol for 10 plus years and it's never irritated my skin but i just i don't know maybe it's the fragrance i don't know what the deal is but it it was a little bit irritating i uh, it's hard because i love rock but there's other retinols out there right now that I feel have been a lot more effective. And when I look at their ingredient list, there's no fragrance and stuff. So I don't know. You can decide on your own. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and have a good night. And please subscribe.